God has a need, one who is perfect. All I need is your heart of worship. God has a need, one who is so strong. All I need is your heart of worship. And come just as you are. Come just as you are. Just come just as you are. He will receive you. Come just as you are. Come just as you are. Come just as you are. He will receive you. It doesn't matter. How far you've gone He's been waiting for you Just like the woman Caught in the very act Grace spoke for Has the thief Acknowledged the master He got a place in heaven Come to the other grave Obtain mercy, obtain mercy. Come to the other grace and obtain mercy, obtain mercy. sent to everyone on the team. What's it about? Philip's company has agreed to give us the contract. Wow. So the Hemdy wants to see everyone. Okay, I can see that now. Okay. This is a big hit. Hello? The boss wants us. It's time for the meeting. For the other grace and obtain mercy. Can everybody go through the agenda for this meeting? Sum of 250,000 US dollars. In other words, all hands must be on deck to make sure that we deliver on this project. As a software company of high repute, we can't afford to shack in this responsibility. For the next six months, I personally will not tolerate any act of sluggishness, complacency unproductivity, neglected actions, and unsystematic calculations. I will want everyone to exhibit utmost discipline on this job for maximum delivery. We're talking about 250,000 US dollars per. Do you 
you all understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, not so fast. B. <laughs> I saw both of you. You're an MD. I saw you both yesterday. Well, don't even try. Okay, okay, okay. I like him. You like him? I do. But we're both married, working in the same office. It's just wrong on all sides. How long has this been going on? Not too long. Over a year now. What? You don't mean it. The boss wants you. I thought we agreed. If it's not official, you should call me or chat me up. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to call you on phone because like this, I get to see your pretty face frequently. Lunch? No. Then we do dinner tonight. I can't. I need to be home early tonight. Vanessa. We need to talk. There's a lot to talk about.
Oh, you're welcome. Let's take a seat. You look so beautiful. Oh, you haven't told me why I'm here. Alexa, you know I can never get enough of you. Well, you can see me at work or any of my social media yeah, handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I can't do this. They are technology. I think we need to put our brakes on this. It keeps getting deeper and deeper. of words. I don't even know what to say. How I wish we can be together all through the night. Same here, but not tonight. That's what my bunch! So you were at work. At work. By this time. Please, I can't tonight. I'm really tired.
Big. Big. Vanessa. What's wrong with you? I had that dream again. The wet dream? Don't call it that. This is your tenth time. I used to think it's a wet dream. But this is getting too much. Are you sure it's not the empty? That's been coming to your dream That's too. The thing. It's him? I don't get to see the face of this person. But there's something about the presence of this person in the dream. It feels evil. Evil call. Evil me. I bet I did that thing. I mean it. How do you mean? It feels like a spiritual thing. <laughs> these religious bygods. As for me, I don't believe in that nonsense. I believe in we have brain, walk, make your money, also make your cash, eat healthy, live fine, live your life. Forget that, babe. So what's your plan for this weekend? I know there's no night out tonight, but are you? <laughs> this weekend? Mm-hmm.
<laughs> so they are like four. Excuse me. I said not tonight. You must be joking. out of patience here. Can you please tell me where you were yesterday? Because you left the house without any form of explanation, looking all glammed up. You were not picking your calls either. You were reading your WhatsApp messages without responding. Only to return home about 10 p.m. and now here we are. I'm home already. Can't you just move on? What is all this? Why are you always harassing me? Is it because you are a man? I'm your wife, Greg, not a prisoner. I have the right to be anywhere I want to be at any time. You have changed. There is more to this. There is something going on, but I just can't lay my hands on it. You come home late. You go out almost every weekend. You are more particular about the way you look these days. You are happier chatting over the phone. You buy expensive perfumes. You even spend more time on your looks these days. But none of those extra are for us here. Us? Yes, the kids and I. The home front. Look around you, Greg. The home front is not for wives alone. You are supposed to step in when I'm not available. I don't have a problem with stepping in. After all, it is my home. What I have a problem with is sharing my home with a strange woman. Talk to me, honey. What is going on? Hey, look at who's talking. Calling me a strange woman. It's you that changed. For you to start taking note of my looks and even my fragrance. Hmm. But we both know that there is more to it. I'm only being patient because I love you. And I hope and pray that this pass and pass on time. Now you are making me very uncomfortable. News is going around that the house loan the Hemdot promised is out and it's for selected few. I want to be among the selected few. 
and only you can help me get this. Okay. You need to help me get this. Why me? You have my ticket. This benefits. What I want you to do for me is to love him more, hang out with him, pet him more, rub his eyes. His eyes? Yes! What I want you to do, do everything possible. My name should be on the list. Okay. <sighs> I need a favor. Favor? And I need it for you. The house loan. Oh, Vanessa. You're the first beneficiary of that. You should know. Thank you. But I'm here because of Juanita. Juanita? I need her on that list. Done. Thank you. Come. One more thing. Okay. I need to stay home this weekend. My husband and kids are beginning to feel neglected. How are the kids? They are fine. But just neglected, you know. Then we can organize a hangout with the kids this Saturday. Richard! You are no longer thinking straight. Focus. Vanessa, anything to bring you close, you know I will do. And my love transcends to everything and everybody around you. You know that. I know, but you need to slow down. Mm -hmm. God has a need, one who is perfect. All I need is your heart of worship. God I can seek one who is so strong. All I need is your heart of worship. And come just as you are. Come just as you are. Just come just as you are. You are come just as you are come just as you are He will receive you It doesn't matter how far you've gone He's been waiting for you just like the woman God in the very end Acknowledge the master You got a place in never Come to the other place You were distanced all through at the park What do you mean? You know, I was so excited that you wanted us to spend time together as a family But you were practically absent Oh my goodness Must you always complain? Must always find faults to all my actions. I am sorry, but you know. But what? Maximum Impact, reaching you from the Citadel of Impact, Abuja, New Estate Baptist Church. Welcome to a moment dedicated not to give you information, but of divine impartation to your life. Please open your heart to receive of the Lord and get ready to be abundantly blessed as we join his anointed servant, Pastor Abiyadun Aribike. Today, whatever sin you are in, whatever rottenness of life, Stinkiness of issues, stinkiness of situation, challenges of life you are in that you are rotting into. Jesus came to save sinners of whom I am chief. If Jesus can save us, he can save you also. No matter your appellation, no matter what you are called, no matter what name people have given you, Jesus came to save people like you. I think a sinner is the worst form of name you can call anybody. 
rottenness, sinkiness, in the depth of the addicted, with evil habits, with evil character that men run away from. But Jesus came to save people like that. And Paul said, I am no holier than thou. I am like you. But Jesus came and saved me. And as he saved me, he can save you also. He came to save sinners of whom I am worse. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever your presence is, Jesus came for you. Listen to me. Come to Jesus the same way you are. It is man that says change and come. Change and I will accept you. Jesus says, come the way you are and I will change you. I accept you the way you are and I will change you. If you know the life of Paul and the stinkiness and the depth of his sin, but Jesus saved him and made him an apostle. In your depth of iniquity, in your depth of transgression, in the depth of your unrighteousness, Jesus wants you to come the same way you are because he's the only one that has the power to save you. What a moment that was. Thank you for sharing the time with us. For inquiries, information, counseling, or prayers, please reach us on 090-1137-1118. Either through WhatsApp, SMS, or calls. You can visit or worship with us at the Citadel of Impact, New Estate Baptist Church, near Sakale Bus Stop, Buari Expressway, Duse Alaji, Abuja. Or join us on Facebook and YouTube at NEBC Duse Abuja or MixLR Audio Channel at TCI Abuja.
morning, sir. Um, uh, good morning. It is 15 minutes. Who am I speaking with, please? My name is Vanessa. I got your number from your radio program. And a lot has been happening to me, I don't know. I've been having, I've been having these dreams, I mean, these nightmares. And I don't know, I don't even know how to and where to explain. I'm Vanessa. And how are you doing today? No problem. It's part of it. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um, we can work out a time, but it has to be in an open environment. Four thirty, four thirty. Um, okay, I think that is perfect. Rock Park, Rock Park, Rock Park. Okay, okay. I think that is perfect also. Thank you also. The Lord be with you. God bless you. See you then. By the way, are you born again? Um, I go to church. Hmm. Okay. Um, what do you have a personal relationship with Christ? I think so. But you are still thinking. There's a need you have a personal relationship with Christ. And these things we are talking about definitely become a team of the past. I really appreciate God for you really wanting to know Him and draw closer to Him. And I believe that God Himself has taken care of every challenge already. Let's pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you for the work you have begun. Thank you for what you have begun in the life of your daughter. Lord, I ask that you reveal yourself to her. Reveal yourself to her and draw her closer to you. Thank you for hearing us. Take absolute control. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
As I was saying, sir, yes. the nightmare has persisted. And Yes, I was actually thinking of calling you over the weekend. Okay. That's because the Lord has been impressing a particular verse in my heart for you. Really, sir? Yes. Wow. Uh, I, I wrote it down somewhere. Let me see. Okay. Go on. Okay. Yeah. I also want to thank God for using your radio program for me. I've been enjoying a personal relationship with the Lord. It's always been refreshing, wow. honestly. Thank God for that. Thank God. That's it. Also, the Lord has been directing me to a particular verse, but I really don't understand what that verse means. The Lord will grant you understanding in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Here's the verse. Okay. Wow. James chapter 5, verse 7 to 20. That's the same verse the Lord has been giving to me. Wow. The Spirit is indeed one. I haven't shown my light on it. That, that's exactly. I don't understand these things. Bondage, darkness, light. These things are like Shakespeare grammar to me. <laughs> I really don't understand it. My sister, look, you need to expose the secret sin. And if you are ashamed to report it, then don't complain about the chains. Now, I need to be very specific here, so you understand me very well. Confessing makes you free from every finger of accusation pointed at you by the enemy. This verse here clearly explains that you confess and be prayed for, then you become healed. It is after you have been healed that your prayers become effective. Then you begin to operate like Elijah in the Bible. You then begin to command what to stop and what to come, what to be and what not to be.
Hello, Sister Vanessa. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And how are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. So, have you told him and how did he take it? I have not, sir. I, I can't. I, I couldn't. I mean, I can't. There's no need. I don't think there's any need telling him again. Sister Vanessa. You see, the Bible says there is no fear in love. And perfect love casts out all fears. Please, sir, I think you will need to join me. <laughs> okay, I will be glad to do that. Wow, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. The Lord will go with us. Amen. You don't have to be afraid because God will definitely give us victory. I will see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Honey? Yes? Pastor Festus called me today. Okay. Yeah. I was surprised to get his call and happy as well to hear from him. I never knew he had my number. Oh yeah, I gave it to him actually. Oh, uh, I thought as much. Anyway, he called to find out when he can visit us at home and we agree someday. Will that be okay by you? Yeah, that's fine. Wow, wow, that's good. It would be a great pleasure to have a man of God come visit us in this house. Don't you think it would be nice if you prepare a good meal for him so that, you know? That's fine. Let's give him a good treat. What do you think? You sure get a treat. One who is perfect. All I need is your heart. Just put in the white chip for our guests. Oh, that's true. I almost forgot. One of those things, you know. All I need is your heart of worship. And come just as you are. Come just as you are. Just come. Have a seat. Thank you. Wow. It's nice to finally put your face to the voice and meet with you, sir. So Thank nice, you. so nice to see Thank you, sir. You. You're your welcome. Your wife has really said so many good things about you. And I have been looking forward to meet with you. Same here, sir. Same here. In fact, she has also told me a lot of things about you and how the Lord is using you to do wonderful things through the radio ministry. More grace. To God be the glory for fulfilling purpose. Well, sure, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Honey, let's get something for Pastor to take. Oh, 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 no, not yet. I am here on assignment. And no way, sir. This is the first time you are stepping feet into this house. We are prepared for you, sir. I Honey, know. please. No, get... no, I know. Maybe later we can talk about that. Yes. Can we just have a word of prayer? Sure, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you for this meeting. Thank you. As we discuss, we are going to take up some control. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, sir, there is a saying that there is no sinner without a future. And there is no saint without a past. I want to tell you that it's just too. A woman was brought to Jesus in the Bible. And this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. And they said, Moses in the law commanded that such should be stoned. But what do you say? And the Bible explains that they said this, testing Jesus, so they will find an occasion to accuse him. But you see, Jesus in response turned around and also asked them, Is there 
any one of you here who has no sin, if there is one, let such a person first cast control his stone at her. And one by one, Jesus and the woman were left alone. And Jesus said to the woman, Where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? Neither do I condemn you also. But go and sin no more. An interesting story, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Pastor, I think I've heard about this story before. In the Bible, yes. <laughs> but if I may ask, why are you telling me this story? Let's go. Uh, go to where? Where are we going to? To your house. No, 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 no. You can't go to my house. Uh, we have to go to your house. No. We say I should tell him. I've told him. Now what will I do? Sister Vanessa, we can, you can add salt to injury. <gasps> now, if he comes back, what do you think? That is the problem. I don't know what he's going to do. I can't stay. Let's just go. No, Let Sister Vanessa, you can't follow me to my house. Look, come, 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 come. Come. Ah, God, what is all this? Father, please take control. Take control of the situation. Sister Vanessa.
Hello, good morning, sir. Hello. Good morning. So, how are you doing today? Fine, sir. So things are not going well. Things are not going well at all. The silent treatment he has been giving to me is just frustrating. I don't know what to do. This morning he already left the house so early without letting me know he was leaving. Don't worry. But we thank God for his successful phase one. I want to let you know that God is with us. Don't forget. As if you know we're having a special guest. So you are the supervisor, you handle them. So you might be at the bar. You handle this uh, like my guest. And you know that your promotion that you've been hoping for. These people can recommend you for that. So I would like you to, you know, how we used to do it. So secondly, what about the restaurant? Is it set? They are set, sir. The butler is they are all set, sir. Set. They are all set, sir. Okay. Everything they are set. Yes, sir. Okay. So they will soon be entry. Okay, please. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. so Do I clean this mess? I'm at work. Mr. Paul, 
was this? Sir, sir. Do you want to kill my business? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Sir, it's not, it's not what you think, sir. You are fired. Go and change. You are fired. Go to the laundry. Where is the PM? It's fired. I'm sorry. To her, is human. But to forgive, is divine. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Good morning, sir. Sorry for calling you this early. Oh, no problem at all. So, how is everything? Fine, sir. How is my brother? That's why I'm calling you, sir. I woke up this morning and I found a note telling me I had made breakfast for me, and the breakfast is actually right here. Thank you, Jesus. This is good news. Good news? I smell foul play. How do you mean? This man is up to something. Isn't this what we have been praying for? <laughs> Not like this, Pastor. So how do you want it? I don't know, Pastor. But something is not right. <laughs> Vanessa, you have to relax your mind. Okay? Sometimes when God works, it's too good to be true. And that is why he's God and not a man. I'm observing, sir. Please do let me know how it goes later. 
Okay, sir. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for agreeing to meet with me despite the short notice, sir. It's okay, my brother. It's part of my duties. Moreover, it's also my my lunch time. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to apologize for my unruly behavior of the other day by walking out on you when you came to the house. I'm deeply sorry, sir. And I pray you find a place in your heart to actually forgive me. It's okay. I understand perfectly. Your reaction was not less expected. Um, sir, the reason I call you uh, the other day I I had this thing. I don't need that to call it an encounter or a revelation. But after it, I was convinced within me and I'm ready to forgive my wife and, and move on. Um, but the thing is, I, I lack the strength to, to do it. And I, I think it's good I see you so that you pray for me. I need strength to do this. I can't do it on my own. Wow. Praise God. God bless you, my brother. You see, you have just taken the right step. This is what God has been waiting for. Well, you see, love is not proud. Love rejoices with truth. Love keeps no records of wrongs. We are not worthy. Yet Christ died for us. And we are living by his mercies and grace. Till we see him face to face. I believe God wants to do a new thing in your home. And since you have decided to forgive your wife, you will definitely see the turn around yourself. Thank you for this great move. And I believe that God will definitely reward you to work. God has a need, one who is perfect. All I need is your heart of worship. God has a need, one who is so strong. All I need is your heart of worship. And come just as you are. Last time you get me I
God has a need, one who is perfect. All I need is your heart of worship. God has a need, one who is so strong. All I need is your heart of worship. And come just as you are. You are come just as you are come just as you are He will receive you It doesn't matter how far you've gone He's been waiting for you just like the woman God in the very end The thief acknowledged the master. He got a place in heaven. Come to the other grace and obtain mercy. Obtain mercy. Come to the other grace and obtain mercy.